I need like a script. Let me drink my coffee. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Makindra. Um, if you don't already know me, um, my, na my name is pronounced Makindra. A lot of people have a lot of questions on how to pronounce my name and if they're pronouncing it right. It's kind of straightforward, but a lot of people get it wrong. So my mama gets pissed off when people say Makindra, so it's Makindra. So get it right. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so for this look, I'm basically going to be going in with like a summer look. Um, I love this dress to death. I got it at Forever 21 and I fell in love with this dress. It's so cute. But anyways, I just kind of want to do a look revolving around this dress. Um, it's like a summer look. I haven't done a summer look yet and summer is basically almost over. It's August now so I can't even remember, I can't even remember the month because summer is just flying by. It's just, it's going. But anyways, today I'm just basically going to be going in with my palettes. I'm not going to be using, I take that back, I am going to be using my Jaclyn Hill palette but only because of the highlight because I love the highlight girl. But basically what I'm going to be going in with is a couple of Morphe palettes and then, you know what, let's go in with my new Juvia's Place palette. It's the Nubian 3 Coral. I just got this from Ulta. They're having like this sale going on like 15% or something like that and so it was only like 25 bucks for this which was amazing and I scratched it up because I dropped it last night and I was so sad but anyways <laughs> um, these are the colors and I'm thinking about going in with like a brown look today just something kind of neutral because I do a lot of color on my channel and a lot of people aren't very comfortable with doing color and you know it's totally fine I, I, I totally get it I mean it's not something that you would go out on day to day just wearing on your face you know what I mean so I was maybe thinking that we should go in with something that's a little bit more um, appropriate for the everyday look and just for a summer look like why not just go in with something warm I know that's more of like winter time but winter time is like for the blues for me so <laughs> so you're gonna be seeing a lot of blues this winter just so you know um, and I haven't gone in with this palette by Morphe, it is the 25B Bronze Mocha. I have not used this and I bought it a really long time ago and the shades are gorgeous. It's just a bunch of brown shades, different shades of it. They have some light shades in there so I'm thinking maybe going in with a brown, like, like, not peach but like that light, light brown that's almost can be like a little slightly peach. And then maybe going in with something light in the inner corner and just keeping it all matte. Just why not, you know, just just to play with some makeup. I mean, everybody does it every once in a while, especially during the summer. Come on, get, get some get some creativity flowing. Just do it, all right? So to go ahead and get into this look, I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera because they take so much time. Like, you guys do not understand how much editing I go through, like through the videos when I'm editing, of me doing my eyebrows. It's literally like 20 minutes, <laughs> not even gonna lie. And especially because look at my eyebrows now, I went and got them threaded at this one place and the girl like really just did not do it sis, it was not it. Like this eyebrow is a bald right there in that little spot and they're so thin and it's just like, I cried for a straight hour coming home. I was fine with this one, this one's you know, it's got a little arch, arch to it and it looks, you know, it looks cute, you know, but then when you look over here it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it just, I was so upset about it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started and get jumped into this video because I'm talking so much and this is such a long intro and I am so sorry. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna go ahead and get into my Revlon Colorstay Brow Creator. It's just a little pencil brush. Um, it looks like this. It has a little spoolie at the end. And I'm in like some brown shade I picked up. I can't. Oh, they have a powder. Oh my god, I did not know this. It comes with a powder. Oh wow, sis. I didn't know that. You know, let's try to use it today. I've had this for a really long time and I did not know that. Okay, well anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and use this for my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that this hot mess is over, that was really difficult. Um, see, this eyebrow, I basically just followed the shape that she, you know, did it, um, that she threaded it. It was so hard, it looks so clumpy and gross and just dark, like, I had to go over it so many times. Okay, we have to move on or else I'm just gonna keep dreading it. 
So, what we are going to dip into now is we are actually going to go in with that Morphe 25B. Yeah, the 25B, the bronze goddess, or the bronze mocha, sorry. Um, this is what it looks like. And I think I'm going to go in to start with... I think I'm going to go in with this shade... Yeah, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm just going to put that in the crease as the transition shade. But I'm not going to bring it all the way into the inner corner. I'm basically going to stop at like the where my pupil is and go outward and blend it outwards. Just because later on I'm going to add in a white right there. And like I said, it's all going to be matte. So I just kind of want it to flow in together. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to go in with right now... Is I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 249 brush. It's a dual ended. I got it in an Ipsy bag like years ago. So I'm gonna go in with this side right here. And I'm just gonna pack it in right there and start blending it outwards to the outer corner of my eye. I like that it's buildable like I'm sure if I packed my brush and just slapped it on my face it would look really nice but I really am liking how blendable it is and buildable because since my eyebrows are so different though it's really throwing me off like you know what I mean like when your eyebrows are different it just throws off my entire game because they do, they look different. Now I'm going to be going in with a more precise brush. It is going to be my Morphe M514 and it is very dirty from a purple. Here, this darker mocha. And I'm going to put that more in my crease right in there and just blend it out. I tried doing a look last night, like a pop art look, and it, <laughs> it was really bad. Um, I didn't like the way that it turned out. The colors were mixing together because they are cream, and so it just didn't really turn out very well. It just mixed together basically into darker colors than I wanted them to be, and it did not work. So I need to go back and find something else, like a different palette or something that will work better. I tried using the Anastasia lip, um, the lip palette. Don't do that. Don't do what I did. It didn't work. I mean, I'll try it again if I need to, but like, I prefer not to use it. It was really bad. Um, I might just go in with the, the Kat Von D next time. Or, um, get the Jeffree Star, get some of his lipsticks and use that instead on the face. I've heard really good things about it and I feel like they would probably just not mix together as much, you know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see I guess. I need to find something to make it work. And then I'm going to go back in with my Luxie brush and back in with that light brown shade and I'm just going to go over it just so we're not losing the color. Okay so I think I want to go a little bit darker. So I'm going to take this color right in the corner, I'm going to take that shade right there, and, and I'm going to go even more into the crease, like I'm going to, mm -mm -mm. you know what I mean, you know what I mean. I don't know the brand and I don't know the name, but this is the brush I'm going to be going in and I'm just going to be packing on the outer corner of my eyeball. I mean my eyelid, not my eyeball, that would hurt. Um, you don't want to go too ham with darker shades because it's really hard to blend out. Um, this, I'm speaking from experience <laughs> I've done it before so just you know just something to keep in mind so I'm gonna be taking it just on the outer corner right there then I'm going back in with that lighter brown that we used in the beginning for the transition and I'm lightly, and I mean very lightly, going back over all of it with that shade. I'm 
See that right there? How the shade is not picking it up right there in the crease? Why? Why do you do that? Why do you do that? You know what? I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here. It's more of like a, a pinky white. And I'm going to lay that on the inner part of our eye. That color ain't even white. It's not white on the eye. But I am very happy with this eye. You know, it looks nice. I wish that the shade would have been wider than it was for the inner part of my eye. Um, it, I was very surprised when I put the when I put it on my eye. I thought it was going to be a lot lighter, but it wasn't. Um, which is fine. You know, we can work with it. I can work with that. But at the same time, the shadow should perceive as it is in the palette on my eye. So that's just a bummer for that. But anyways, I am just going to keep on going with the makeup and I'm not going to dwell on it. Um, it's all for fun and it comes off at the end of the day. So that's what I'm going to keep rolling with. Now I am going to be adding on the Pixie by Petra. Um, it's an eye pencil and I love this stuff. If you are looking for a really good creamy eye pencil, this stuff is amazing I kid you not like it has done wonders for me I have like three of these I've gone through a lot I place that on the upper part of my eye and in my water lines so when I put the lashes on the lash band isn't showing it's not showing the difference between my real lashes and my fake lashes so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those on pop that on really fast so I will be right back so now that I've got that placed on I'm going to be taking <laughs> Nope, I think I'm going to go in with my Morphe M321. 321 Blanco. So I'm going to go ahead and take this brush and I'm just going to smudge that black shade. Okay, so now that I've got that on, this is what it looks like. It is a little sloppy, but I'm kind of living for it. Um, so now what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm going to be going in with my face makeup. So now I'm going to be going with my foundation. I really need a, a darker foundation color because this one is like my winter color and this is summer. So I've gotten, I've gotten tan to say that. What I'm going to be doing is going in with some concealer. Yes, girl, we are going to go in with the same thing we always go into. We're gonna be going in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I think one time I said this was L'Oreal. It's Maybelline. I don't know why I said L'Oreal, but I did. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with this bad boy. Place it where it needs to be, under the eye, the forehead, the nose, and the chin. And I just kind of dot it around. back into the eyeshadow so then I can do my under eyes. I'm just going to be taking that dark, not the, not the darkest brown shade, but this brown shade that we went in first right here. And I'm going to be putting that closest to the eye. I'm going to be putting it real close to my eye. My Morphe M5513. It is a bigger brush, but I'm also going to be blending it upwards in with that brown and we're gonna go in with that lightest brown shade that we went in for the transition shade and we're just gonna just like so these are the ones that I used for my mermaid look I got them from Walgreens um, 
pretty inexpensive and really pretty. The lash band is not thick, so it's very wearable. I highly recommend Walgreens for eyelashes. I don't know why people pay millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars on high-end eyelashes. Eyelashes that you only wear like three times and then throw out because they get so dirty. If you guys want to see a video of me get using my full face of affordable makeup, then like comment down below because I am so down to do that. I've I've always wanted to do that, but I haven't. So if you do want to see that, then definitely leave some comments down below and I will look into that for you guys. I'm going to be getting in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm in the shade 120 powder and I'm just going to be taking just a fluffy brush. And this is a foundation brush, but I really like it for it. And I'm just going to pack that on the brush and then what was I doing? Go around the face. Make sure to get your nose so it's not moving around. I'm the one person who probably touches their nose so much throughout the day. And it's not just picking at it, it's moving my nose piercing. So it's like the oily, oiliest place on my face. Art um, Amazonian collection, the Park Ave Princess. Yeah, and I'm just gonna, you know, I go ham. I went too ham on my last video, but I'm gonna go ham again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze the face and add some color. Okay, so now that I've got lashes on and I've got some mascara on, for the mascara, I went in with the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. Um, yes, it's the mini. But um, for highlighter, I'm just going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow, uh, Glow Sugar Kit. I'm going to go in with this, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here and probably mix it with that pink a little bit. Okay, so this is the only lip pencil that I have, but I absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna be, it's the NYX Professional Makeup on the Urban Cafe is the shade color. And so I'm just gonna outline my lips with this. Now I'm going to be going in with my Rimmel shade is this, um, the shade 44. Alright you guys, I think that this is the finished look. Oh my god. And I just wanted to thank each and every single one of you who have watched this video. I want to thank you for watching it and I would greatly appreciate it if you could just give me a thumbs up and love it and give me some comments down in the comment section below what do you guys want to see next I'm working on some pop art stuff and I'm also going to be working on some vlogs possibly so just let me know and I would love to answer some questions for you guys or give you guys some tips on whatever you guys want to do if you guys want to see me do that Jouer way palette then girl I got you say no more <laughs> um, but let me know what you guys want to see so I could do it for you that I would love to do it so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. I, again, I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.